Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Juan Solo here with Day Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in today for another Ghost Recon Wildlands video. So you guys heard it right there at the start, the Predator music, and that is what we are going to be doing today in this video, guys. We are going to be showcasing the Predator pack that just came out to Ghost Recon Wildlands this morning. And real quick on a side note, honestly, I have not been in the store in so long. I don't know if the TAC-50 down there is a brand new weapon or not. But either way, we're going to jump in here and we're going to take a look at all the new things coming with the Predator pack. New weapons, new gear, new tattoos, the whole nine yards. So the first thing is the R93 LRS2 sniper sniper rifle so this thing looks like a beast it's a straight bolt action sniper rifle and it has a decent amount of damage obviously it's not high, as high as like the 50 cal or anything accuracy is all the way up range is all the way up and penetration is almost all the way up and this is the way it comes stock with a very high powered scope on it next we have the m16 assault rifle thank you ghost recon ubisoft for finally bringing this gun to the game honestly this is a gun that i kind of felt as if it should have been in in the start and it does have three different fire rates. You can do single shot, can do burst, and you can do full auto. And it does come with a grenade launcher. Next, we have just the standard Predator t-shirt, which you can't really see it because I got the Molly harness on. But, you know, it's just a standard t-shirt with the Predator logo on the front. Next, we have the wrist blades. But you do have to wear a tank top to get these. So what I did later, you guys will see in the video, is I put, like, the muddy tattoos and stuff on my arms. But really cool new melee animations coming with these when you kill people. Now we have the Dutch face paint so this is the face paint that was worn by Arnold Schwarzenegger in the movie Predator and uh, it looks pretty cool honestly I thought like the haircut might have been in the game but it's not I was kind of hoping for that because he had kind of like a slicked hair uh, in the <clears throat> He kind of had like a slicked hair in the movie. Next, we have Billy, which is uh, one of the other guys in the game. We have his little face paint there going underneath the eyes. Next, we have Poncho and then Muddy Dutch. So this is like towards the end of the movie when he covers himself with mud so that the Predator can't see him. And that's pretty cool that they actually put that in as a tattoo so you can put that on your body. Next, we have both arms you can also cover in mud. So if you actually put all three of these on, it actually looks pretty cool. Next, we have the Predator helmet which you can actually change this you can change the color of this thing to any camo in the game to you know kind of fit your environment so you can wear this wherever you want which is pretty cool next we have billy's hat which this is probably one of like the cooler hats in the game now with like the curved boonie there next we have the rick's glasses from the movie and then also blaine's hat which is also another really cool hat some of these gear items i really think would have been cool to be in the game a little bit sooner but uh, all, all, all in all, it's pretty cool. Last but not least, we definitely have the Predator patch. So I'm probably going to be rocking this at least for a little while. But uh, overall, those are all the contents that are in the Predator pack. As you can see here, here's the TAC-50. Like I said, I'm not sure if this was already in the game or not. Just throwing this in real quick. Pretty cool looking sniper rifle. Not quite as powerful as the one that was in the Predator pack. But uh, overall, decent looking sniper rifle. So next, we're going to be showcasing some of the items in game. And uh, so you guys can check them out. So I'll see you there. All right. So the first thing we're going to be showcasing is the new M16 assault rifle that is in uh, the Ghost Recon Wildlands Predator pack. This thing, it's pretty accurate, especially when you put it on burst fire mode. Um, you can change it from burst to auto, also to single shot. Depending on what trigger you put on the weapon, it can also be equipped with a suppressor. You can fully mod these guns which i'm super excited about because that's the one thing i was a little concerned about was being able to mod these weapons if they were just going to be locked so you couldn't add any attachments you couldn't swap anything out stock it comes with a standard iron sight with a grenade launcher you can swap out grips um suppressors compensators you know sights all that good stuff extended magazine which is a 50 round magazine um overall you can swap out everything on this weapon and uh, i really think that's a good thing because this weapon is really cool next we have the r93 sniper rifle here pretty standard sniper rifle it's not you know crazy powerful you know obviously compared to like you know the 50 cal or the msr but uh pretty accurate uh does have a lot of accuracy and a lot of penetration and it does have max range in the game so honestly i'm going to test this out a few different you know different scenarios and i will definitely keep you guys posted on how this weapon performs in those scenarios and last but not least we're going to be showcasing the predator helmet with also the wrist blades and uh, honestly i cannot wait to go around meleeing people with this i'm going to be super excited um just because it's going to be something new New. But uh, that's pretty much all for the video, guys, for the breakdown. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to smash that like button. Also, subscribe if you are new. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.